Welcome back Etsy sellers. Today we are going to do the long awaited part three of our four part Everbee email marketing series. First and foremost, if you have not seen part one and two, I want you to stop watching this video, head to the description. And I'm also going to put the link above my head. Go watch part one and two of our email marketing series. I promise you the stuff that we're going to talk about today will completely confuse you. So stop what you're doing, go watch that. And I will see you back in just a few minutes. If you have already seen part one and two. Welcome back to part three. Today we are going to dive into exactly how to get subscribers. We're also going to talk about how to segment out those lists so that you are sending the right message to the right person at the right time. So if all of that sounds good, let's go ahead and dive right in. The first thing we're going to look at together today is called the dashboard. The first thing you're going to see is the total revenue, email revenue, email sent, campaigns, subscribers, and total orders from your emails themselves. Then you're going to also be able to dive into a graph based on the time parameters that you set. You can click down the different time parameters to be all time, today, last year, last month, etc. And on the little graph, you're able to see the different metrics that took place on different days. Next up, you're going to be able to see kind of a breakdown of two different metrics. We have subscribers as well as email sent. At the bottom left hand corner, you're also going to see the recent campaigns that you have sent out, what type they were, what was their open and click rate, how many orders came from them, and then also how much revenue monetarily actually came from those emails as well. At any time on the dashboard, you can also come up here to the top right hand corner and create a list by either adding adding a new list, importing a list that you currently have, or adding subscribers on an individual basis. You also have the ability to create a new campaign, whether it be like we talked about in part two, an auto or a single campaign. Now I want to move on to the grow tab, which is actually going to help us land more subscribers through our Etsy shop. So in the grow tab, there are three places that are actually going to help us land more subscribers straight from Etsy. The first place is going to be what we consider landing pages. So landing pages are this little guy right here. This is actually the landing page that I send out to everybody or I have it hosted in multiple different locations to attract people to opt into my email list. But what's cool about Everbee is if you have the growth plan or higher, you can actually create up to 10 individual landing pages that talk to your individual buyers with a more tailored experience. Today we are going to build a landing page together. All you have to do is click new subscriber page page in the right hand corner of your grow tab under landing pages. So what's really cool about this is we're actually going to generate a QR code for you as well. We'll get into exactly how to utilize that QR code in just a few moments, but you can actually just simply click this little download button and that will take you directly to the specific QR code that someone could then scan with their phone and be able to be sent immediately to that particular landing page. If you ever wanted to delete a landing page or edit a landing page, you can click on the pencil button or the trash icon. So here's an example. I can easily change the heading. I can change the text. Obviously, as you can see, I have changed the button color to represent my brand colors. You can also add any tags in here, which we will discuss in just a second to segment people who actually come into the landing page. Once you're done with that, you can go ahead and click save changes. You can also, by the way, edit the confirmation page as well. So once someone opts in to your landing page, Page, and they are now a part of your email list. You can also edit this as well. The next thing I want to go over real fast in the grow tab is a really cool Etsy tool that allows you to update your shop announcement, your message to buyers, as well as your message to buyers for digital items right here in Everbee. So let's say you want to update your shop announcement because you have a new special about to happen. Your shop announcement as it stands right now is going to be right here. Now you have the ability to edit this however you like and click update and that will automatically update on your Etsy page as well. You also have the ability, depending on if you are shipping out physical items or digital items, to simply click this button and edit the message they get in Etsy once they purchase either of those items as well. A quick example of where we can use that landing page to get more subscribers. 
right here in the message to buyers, either for digital or physical items, I popped mine right here. If you would like 15% off your next order, I have a coupon waiting for you here. And as you can see, that is the 15% off landing page. Another way that we can bring more subscribers to our account is through Everbee's product images. So here's exactly how to create a product image from scratch. Simply click create new product image. You can obviously start from scratch or you can choose any of these pre-made ones from Everbee. Once you do that, you're gonna see a couple of different things that we are able Able to edit. You can edit the font, you can edit the background color or the background photo. You can edit obviously the text, you can make the QR code smaller or larger. There's plenty of stuff that you can do with this. Let's go ahead and show you a quick example. Everbe store. As you can see, my text is going off the screen a little. All you have to do is simply click on it and drag it to where you want it. And you can obviously change the size as well. You can click on this button and drop your own hex code here if you'd like. If you wanted to change the text through any of these, you could as well. If you have multiple landing pages like I do, you're gonna wanna make sure that you drop down which QR code you want attached, which means which landing page you want attached to this product image. All you have to do then is simply click these three dots and then click push to Etsy. And then it will bring up all of the listings that you currently have in your shop. And you can easily click one, click next, and then it will either be added right here, or if you already have 10 product images, you will need to delete one and be able to replace that with this new one. Last but not least, I wanna take you guys to the actual subscriber section. The first thing you're gonna see is how many active subscribers you have. And under the people tab, you can actually search for subscribers if you'd like. You can click on a subscriber and either delete or edit them utilizing these two icons. You can also come over to the actions drop down menu and assign a tag to that person that you chose, delete that person, subscribe that person or unsubscribe them. We can also open each individual person and confirm exactly what they are currently under. You can also come and click this little three dot icon in the top right hand corner of anyone's individual subscriber dashboard and either edit the info for for that particular person, unsubscribe them from a list, delete them completely, or manage their campaign list. So when we click that, you're gonna see that this person is currently on the freelancer resources list, but if she bought something from me, I might want to move her to this list and that's exactly how you would do it. So as you can see, I currently have five tags that I have and you'll be able to see the different subscribers that are under each of those tags. What a tag does is just help segment out your list that much further. So so maybe I have prospective buyers as a list and then I have freelance resources as a tag. That allows me to drive down even further on who that person is, what stage of the buyer's journey they're at, and how I need to communicate with them in the future. If you ever want to create a new tag, simply create new tag in the right hand corner. And let's say we change this to ever be test, for example. Now you're gonna see that applied right there. You can add anybody on your subscribers list to that tag. The third thing I wanted to show you guys was the actual list that we we currently have. At any time, you could also create new lists from scratch and be able to put this information in there. You can either import subscribers from a current list that you already have, or you can add subscribers name by name. And then up in the top left-hand corner is where you're actually going to add the name for the new subscription list. If you ever wanted to import a current list that you have, simply click import list, and it will need to be in a CSV file. So once you import your list that you currently have, you can change the list title, add imported subscribers to existing auto campaigns if you have any, for example, a welcome sequence. And then you most importantly want to acknowledge that the persons that were added from that list consented to you emailing them. A quick example here is let's say you have a list in a different email marketing platform where people already opted in to receive emails from your Etsy shop. Those people are able to be added into Everbee email. However, if you simply grabbed someone's email address from Etsy or from another subscribers list that had nothing to do with your current Etsy shop, they are 
not, I repeat, not able to be added to ever be email. That will not be in compliance with email marketing laws. So guys, that was part three of our four part ever be email marketing series. On part four of our email marketing series, we are gonna go over exactly how to build out nurture sequences that you can send all year long to all different types of buyers. Thank you so much guys for watching this video. I hope it was informative and it's gonna help you on your email marketing journey. If you have any questions about how to utilize Everbee email, go ahead and drop them in the comments. And if you'd like to be tagged in part four of this four part email marketing series, go ahead and comment email four below and I'll make sure that I tag you once the fourth part goes live. If you did like this video, I would love to hear from you guys. Make sure you like this video as well as subscribe to the channel and go ahead and also hit that bell notification icon so that you will be notified every time we go live every single Thursday and every time we post a new video just like this for Etsy and e-commerce sellers every Tuesday. So that's all I have for you guys today and until next time we'll see you in the next video.